Hey guys, how's it going today? <sighs> I'm actually sitting here at my computer and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna make a video. Yesterday I lost power <laughs> again and there was no storm. Today there's a storm <clears throat> and I'm like, you know what? I better hurry up and just try and make a video today because honestly, I, the weather here is, I don't know what's going on. I have no idea. It's very bizarre. I can't believe the amount of storms we're getting. It's insane. I don't think we've had this much in a long time. But yeah, I lost power yesterday for like two hours. I still don't know why there wasn't a storm. I don't know why. All right. So I was over on Reddit and I seen some things. Um, actually, I was on KJ's Instagram. There's a bunch of things that she had said. Uh, she had said she had posted. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go read to Reddit because they usually have everything and it's all in one spot. So instead of going to Twitter, to this, to that, I was like, you know what? I'm doing it here. So here's the first thing. So this person says, I tried to return a shirt that had shrunk and I got such a run. Now, this is uh, comments between KJ and another customer for Amy Duggar's store, 3150. Then this person says, I got the run around and it was just awful. I never bought anything else from her. Listen to what KJ says. She sent me the wrong pants. Multiple shirts look, looked like nothing like the photos. Pre-orders would never come in. Haven't bought from her since November. Um, I'm sure everyone remembers. How much did she hype up Amy Duggar's store? 5150. She loved it. She promoted it. She bought from it. And now all of a sudden it's wrong. It's bad. Bullshit. Then you're going to, here's the kicker. Listen to this. My right to choose story. Wait till you hear this nonsense. Okay. So now her, our story has changed yet again. Yeah. This is why people are bringing it up. And this is why people are talking about it because you can't have one story change five different ways. If not more, I expect people to believe you. People like this is why a lot of actual victims don't come forward and why they don't feel comfortable telling anybody. Like, it just pisses me off because I know a lot of my subs have had this happen as well as myself. So when you see someone like this, it just makes me so mad. And to get away with it and to keep fucking talking, like, it makes me so upset. It really does. No, oh, I'm going to try and read it without punching my computer. <sighs> okay. In 2007, I was essayed well unconscious. When I woke up, I knew something was very wrong. A friend of mine encouraged me to contact the National Hotline for SA Abuse to find out what to do. When I called at Rain, so she had, <laughs> wow, so apparently now she's called Rain. They told me that my first step was to not take a shower and go to the hospital to have a, our kit performed. Following their advice, I went to hospital and was seen by a sane nurse. Who says that? A sane nurse? <laughs> wow. During the exam and interviews, I was asked if I remembered if the perpetrator used a condom. My memory was so foggy that I had no idea. I wasn't sure if I was exposed to any STIs or the possibility of a pregnancy. <laughs> All right. The nurse let me know there were options to prevent an unwanted pregnancy as a result of the A. She prescribed antibiotics for potential exposures of STIs and plan B to help prevent a pregnancy from occurring. We all know there was a condom used because her goddamn dog ate it. And this is the first time I'm ever hearing about now. Apparently she was, <clears throat> she had, she took plan B. What? Plan B is not... Not an abortion pill. Contrary to popular belief, Plan B is an emergency contraceptive that thins the uterus lining and prevents implantation of a fertilized egg. Why would you need one when there was a condom that your dog ate? You see what I'm saying? This story is exactly what it is. A fucking story. Following the exam, I was instructed to take the medications then follow up with my provider for further testing weeks later. Pan, uh, plan B is not 100% effective, but close at 87% if taken as instructed. There was always a lingering doubt in my mind that it might not work. This is another first I'm, hear, I'm hearing. So now apparently she was scared she was pregnant. What? I told myself that if Plan B failed, I would seek an abortion to end the pregnancy. I was not going to have a child created from R. Thankfully, the medication worked and that decision never had to be made. Wow, KJ. I'm thankful I had that choice to take Plan B to prevent pregnancy. So many victims don't go to the hospital due to fear of how society treats victims of R. Some of these victims end up pregnant. 
I cannot believe that 2022 that there will be victims of our unable to make their own choice about what to do with their own bodies. I fear some states will ban emergency contraceptives. I fear other victims of our won't have options but to deliver a child they will never consent to creating. Today, I stand with all victims of SA who will be harmed further by laws that ban abortions with no exceptions for victims of R. Unbelievable. She took this whole thing and made it about herself again, yet again. Bravo, KJ. Bravo. Yeah, I'm pissed. <laughs> wow. Oh, there's more. Yeah. This one's nine fucking pages. KJ's back to bitching about Amy now. KJ lies as usual and leads her dumb fucks to believe Amy was the only liar. KJ forgets her lies about being asked by Amy to come to the trial. Just another drunken night for the Miss Minnesota Muppet. So Amy says, <clears throat> also, she, first she says, abortion is overturned. Thank you, Jesus. Also, I'm sure there'll be guidelines in emergency death complication procedure situations, but think of how many babies our country has killed. You cannot tell me we haven't killed a child that could have cured cancer or that could have had a chance to change the world. I do agree with Amy in a lot of sense for the fact that um, I do not believe in abortion, but there is certain circumstances where absolutely, I'm sorry, it has to happen. It does. It just does. I think the problem is this is my personal opinion. There's a lot of women out there that are using abortion as a form of birth control pill. They are. And it's disgusting. And it needs to stop. Absolutely. But to take that hole right away is not cool with me. Of course, Mouse got something to say. Amy Duggar King, your state will now force women or girls that are art or victims of incest to carry the baby to term. Also, the R's get patiently paternity rights for the child that they create out of R in the state, in your state. But yay, we save the babies. When welfare explodes, your schools overcrowd and Medicaid burst. I'm sure you will be the first in line to help the babies. Are you going to adopt the babies too? Or are you just going to post another fake message to Anna about her needing to divorce Josh while promoting to care about, pretending to care about kids? Wow, KJ. See how the tables have turned. This is why KJ has no friends. She'll never have friends, ever, 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 ever. You don't care. Anna doesn't speak to you. Most of the family doesn't talk to you because they can't trust that you won't run to the tabloids. <laughs> Allegedly. Wow. Not to mention those cousins you adore that were assaulted by Josh. If they had gotten pregnant, they'd have his kid now. What about the child victims of gun violence that die every year? Your cousins and uncles sure love their guns. Bet you'd never take away their rights to be armed, but hurt women, you aren't pro-woman. Shame on you. Shame on you for pretending to care about victims. No, shame on you, KJ. <sighs> Maybe you should tell your customers the real reason 3130 is closed. Uh, tell them about the lawsuit, your back taxes, and the delinquent property taxes. Like, holy effing shit. Wow. Tell them about how you allegedly speak about Josh when you need to drum up attention in business, in my opinion. Uh, the people that run in circles around the Duggars know how you operate, and it's not from a place of altruism. Allegedly, you don't care about babies or anyone other than your self-interest, in my opinion. Damn, I smell a lawsuit. Do you guys? <laughs> Wah. Then it says, these are just comments back and forth between KJ and her little minions. Way to go, Katie Joy. I love you. I love you, too. So agree with everything you said. This person says, holy shit. So the kids that are already here apparently don't even have a chance of curing cancer or changing the world, including your son. KJ, guess not. <laughs> Damn, I love you, KJ. Love you more. I'm tired of her games. Thanks for opening my eyes with Greta Crystal Ball. This one says, I don't understand anyone who speaks against you, KJ. You are my go-to girl. Sometimes the truth hurts. This person says, how many of those kids were killed in their school could have cured cancer? You never hear those pro-life people bring that up. Another, I'm so lucky to have had the choice. Sad day for women of America, thinking of you all. This one says, or the child could have come out like Josh Duggar. Terrible logic for an argument that shouldn't exist. And then there's this little thing here. We are tired of your games and lies, KJ. <laughs> Correct. Correct mundo. I totally agree. Oh, there's what? Four more, five more pages. This one says, oh, this one says, say it louder for the people in the back. Aren't her 15 minutes up yet? She's unbearable, honestly. This is someone talking about Amy. Then, of course, KJ says, for real, when I caught her in so many lives, that's when she started smearing me. 
This person go that over here says, says the queen of lies. Thank you for saying it. Agreed. Shameful and hypocritical. Wow, I thought she was cool. I could even say I was a fan. Shame on you, Amy. This one says, yeah, she only has one child. She has room for many more whose mothers are forced to carry them and able to care for them and much make the gut-wrenching choice to give them up. Forever changed, forever harmed, when it should never be this way. This one says, the brainwash runs deep. Not that I would expect much less. Her logic is killing me. Oh my God, my hen is spinning. These families are nothing more than pro-birth, not pro-life. She is quick rising to the top of the worst duggers. Not long ago, I was cheering her on. KJ says, same. I was heartbroken when I figured out who she really was last December. <laughs> this person goes, what hurt? <laughs> I must have missed it, but what occurred in December exactly? Hmm, good question. I just can't believe how many comments are here. Her logic is killing me. Oh my, okay, we already went on that. <laughs> What occur okay, what occurred in December? She lied to my face, and then when I caught her, she went on a month-long smear campaign against you. How do her people not get the fact that the problem and common denominator here is KJ? How do they not understand that? How do they not see that? That's a good question. Not to mention the years of counseling and supports many of these kids will need uh, if, I can't even read it because of this, something, a mother who is unable to care for them. Child apprehension rates are going to skyrocket, and these kids are going to have a hard life ahead of them. Who's stepping up to help them then? This one says, I thought you were good friends with, with Amy. <laughs> yeah, right. I, Amy, how original with the cancer comment. Maybe the person who will cure cancer is your 18th baby. Go ahead and have 17 more. Wow. <clears throat> well said. Clapping hands. Team Katie Joy, I didn't know all this, but I just unfollowed her. Thank you. Clapping hands. This one says, women have been forced to carry their dead fetuses until they go septic. Some have died. They wouldn't have died had they had an abortion and removed the dead fetus. This is a procedure that some doctors have and refuse to do. This could mean the difference between a woman having stage one cancer and stage four cancer. Women's lives will hang in the balance of what a panel of administrators and forced birth physicians want. All women will have to plead their case uh, that her life is truly at risk. It's got to be something. I mean, I would imagine, um, obviously, for cancer, cancerous reasons, they would have surgery and whatnot and seem like a tubular, tubular pregnancy and stuff like that. There's got to be uh, rules, you know what I mean? Like for healthcare reasons, it's for their health and reasons like that. I can't see it just completely being no. Um, <clears throat> what's the situation regarding Michelle's pregnancy loss after Josie? Does she need a DNC? Wouldn't that be considered an abortion now? This one says, I feel like she's been educated by her post because she's angry and backtracking a bit here in the red. KJ is a liar. KJ says, no, that's what she does when she realizes she will lose support and money. She does it every time. This one says, I noticed that, especially during the Janet incident. She tries so hard to say the popular thing, so gets praises, but then switches up when she receives pushback. So disingenuous. KJ says, that was when I figured out who she was. Wow. Nice for calling her out for what she is. What exactly is she? She's pro-life. A lot of people are. And again, I would like to say that I truly believe there's got to be certain circumstances where they have to do the abortion. I mean, come on. Then she says, Arkansas does not have an exception for R or incest. <laughs> really? You know that? You? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you like talk to judges and stuff? You just know everything, don't you, KJ? Arkansas gives no exception. In the state that do give exceptions, there needs to be one proof of R or incest with police reports and paperwork, which can take weeks and weeks. Most R's are not reported to police as well, so there's another obstacle. Well, there you go. Exactly what I said. There is instances where they can have an abortion. This one says, sorry, can't have it both ways. Saying abortion is murder, but also saying, hey, we will let you murder this baby in these circumstances. This one says, Texas has no exception for these cases neither. Sorry, I'm not for it being overturned. I'm providing others with info that I've learned. Oh my God. This one says, I didn't know 3130 is closed. I was calling it 3150. My bad. It's 3130. I think I'm thinking of a 5150. <laughs> <laughs> of course I am. It says here in the red, it's not Amy has gone to an online boutique. KJ is the friend only the devil would love. KJ says, yeah, 
She moved one location to another. Her landlord at the previous location sued her for back rent and breach of contract. Then her sales started going down because Josh got arrested. She in, she's in a mess financial. I don't know why they don't pay their taxes. What is with this chick and taxes and financials? You know, I think I have the answer. I think it's because KG's the one that's actually defrauding the government and her taxes are bullshit and she needs to be audited. That's my opinion. Okay, which would help the baby so, so desperately loves? She's got fairly new house too, a huge one. Living beyond their means for sure. Doesn't her husband own a restaurant? <clears throat> KJ says, you mean the house she rents? The house isn't huge. It's like 37,000 square, 3,700 square feet. Just keep digging, KJ. Oh, they rent? Lordy. As someone who lives in a 1,500 square foot house, as a family of seven, 3,700 square feet is huge. And this girl, of course, her name's Nikki. No, it's not me, but rock on, Nikki. This one says, sure, I get it, but she's not bailing out in a bawling out in a mansion. It, who gives a shit, KJ? It's not about you. And then they, this one says, coming with the T. KJ's coming with the T. They should know better to mess with you. KJ says, it's not even being messed with. I don't have a relationship with Amy. We don't speak. I don't trust anything she says. I just try to be respectful always. When she can't respect women, then I have a problem. Right. This one says, sounds huge to me. I raised four kids with multiple pets and a 1,200 square foot. I agree. KJ lives in less than that. So what are you even talking about, KJ? This one says, sorry, Amy King, but when the same people who ban abortion are also those cut education budgets, low income support and slap predators on the rest, I also have a feeling they probably don't care about what is going on in foster care or adoption either. They basically are going with keeping people poor people keep people undereducated keep people scared for their lives so they don't have the energy to fight for more this person says i replied three times to her nonsense people were warning me that she blocked me if i made her angry she is sitting in a place of ignorant privilege and judgment she clearly has no education on this matter or respect or a person's right to choose what's best for them i told her to keep her religious ideologies out of my uterus kj says she's fake pro lgbtq too she's good at lying really really this coming from a person who hops on the train that is best for getting people to suck your ass and sub to you, you know, the lying train. <laughs> wow. Then this person says, KJ looks like it. I thanked her for showing us who she truly is. Theodore Cristobal says, I learned who she really was in December 2021. A lying opportunist to tell so many lies. She can't keep track. She also has so many of the same bunny beliefs as the Duggars. She's just being better at hiding it. And this was a friend. Just remember this. They were supposedly friends. Imagine that. This one says, seems that the ones that protect the men that M and A children and or A women are the ones that are thinking this was a win for America. When it's actually a sad day for women in American and any man who whom loves a woman or even the daughters or family remembers as well. I'm curious for a poll to see if these women that against women having control of their own bodies, if these same women are in abusive, submissive or some type of controlled relationship and, you know, walk behind the men and obey them kind of seem kind of thing seems that they would have to be LOL. This one says burn Katie Joy. She kind of deserves to be called out. This one. Women will die. Is that okay, Amy? I think not. No one is murdering babies. Get an education, hillbilly. You are part of the problem. Just spouting nonsense and not using good common sense. No one is telling me what I can do with my uterus, period. This one says, I wonder how many children M and R by Christian relatives having their lives destroyed from constant A could have cured cancer. This one, she's a D-bag, just like the rest of the Duggars. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, one more, guys. This one says burn. Oh, already got there. Sorry. Um, this one says absolutely, absolutely disgusting. This one says, okay, I am confused. Her cousins get pregnant. Josh are his sisters. KJ in with, I said if they were. <laughs> Again, putting shit out there that you don't even know is true. KJ, okay, I just got a little confused. A girl at my hairdresser said that he did, and I never said I never heard that, and then your post. So then I thought, what did I miss? But glad to hear that didn't happen. Thanks. KJ says, not that ha not that has been reported. She's sick. A sadistic, sick bastard. That's what KJ is. This one says, this is the result of people assuming how things will be instead of reading the loss. The ignorant will always be ignorant. This one says she's almost worse than the Duggars, if that's possible. How selfish to take rights away from all women, as if women don't deserve to make their own choices. But oh no, we're not going to support all of these babies being brought into the world. That's evil in my opinion. This one says she's an American disgrace, along with her whole family. 
Wow, that was the end of that. <laughs> Holy. <clears throat> okay, and I've got two little short videos for you from KJ. So this one is what, how many minutes? This one's nine minutes and forty six seconds, and it's about so it's about Sophie Long missing. So now she's announcing that she's missing. Hey guys, it's Katie. This is going to not be super long, and I'm probably gonna put this on my YouTube channel. I was not going to work today. Well, I was going to work. I was maybe gonna go do a live stream, but there has finally been an official um, an official missing post or a missing report that has been updated in the De Texas Department of or De De <laughs> the Texas Department of Safety has classified Miss uh, Sophie Long as missing and abducted. So she had been supposed to be turned over to a third party custodian at, for a transitional period until they can return her to her mother. And there was a little bit of confusion. I don't know why it took so long, but the Department of Safety has finally issued a missing persons bulletin for Sophie Long. So if you are not, if you are sitting here and you're trying to um, see what this says, it basically says that she is missing, uh, missing juvenile is believed to be with her non-custodial parent, Michael Long. And Holy crap. It's This is not professional at all. She needs to have a shower. Her makeup's coming down her eyeballs. She can't even talk straight. She keeps saying things and then she won't finish her sentence. It's This is not professional. How in the hell can she call herself a journalist and or a reporter? She's not. No one goes on looking like this. <laughs> I'm sorry, you just don't. Maybe I'm um, en route to Arizona, Colorado, Utah, Mexico, or Argentina. Michael Long is possibly driving an off-white 2010 Ford Edge SUV or a gray van with blacked out windows, an NRA sticker, and a black rack on the top. Missing juvenile has been was a small bird mark on her arms. And I know it's definitely not the most up-to-date photo of Michael. I am sorry about that. Michael Long is listed as her abductor. So this is considered an abduction and the, it's an involuntary family abduction. So basically what happened, I know, not a good picture of Michael. It's an older photo of Michael. Michael is a lot, he's a much older, not as clean cut as this now. This is with them. It's only listed with the abductor being Michael. So I was looking and Michael had yesterday posted, just to give you a little bit more here, this is, he's six foot four. His birth date is 12 24 1978. It's an involuntary abduction. He has blonde hair, blue, uh, blue eye, green eyes. I'd read this for you guys instead of her, but it's kind of cut off on both sides. And he is 205 pounds, six foot four, blonde hair. And then Sophie, just to give you a little bit on her, she has, she's five foot tall. She's got <laughs> blue eyes. She cannot talk. She cannot get her words to make sense. It's, you know, I screw up my words and stuff too, but it just makes me wonder there, in my personal opinion, I do not think she's sober. I just don't. Guys, she's white and her birth date is 9-16-2010, last seen on 7-12-2021. So, um, this, they have not issued an Amber Alert. This is now, we miss, this is now listed under the Texas Department of Safety public safety and you can find the link. I posted it in my, on my Facebook account. I also posted it on my Twitter account. It's of course also she did. in my Instagram account. So it's, this is a hundred percent. Actually, what did you guys think about the Michael Long and Sophie case going on? Um, I'm going to have to read up on it again to figure out what happened at the end, but I was actually glad that he took his daughter because from what I understand and what's, um, has come out about this is that it was actually the mother's boyfriend that was doing things. Um, so I was really happy that he took her. I was really happy that he took her. Um, he saved her is how I would see that. Now I'm gonna, I'm not up to date on it at all, but at the time I definitely was rooting for her father and for her to stay away and get away from them because yeah, of course the mother's gonna say, no, no, Michael did it. No, Michael's this, Michael's that. Her father's this, her father's that, her father did this. Blah, blah, blah. And of course, KG likes to believe the people who are always in the wrong. Like she was on Amber Heard's side for God's sake. And then when she was proven wrong, oh, no, I knew. I thought something. No, bullshit. You were totally on Amber Heard's side. Like, nice try, lady. God, I can't 
can't stand this woman. I just can't. This video and just me reading what she said and her new add-ons to her R story has really put me in a bad mood. Official, they have not issued a Amber Alert at this point. They may not have enough identifying information of that to issue that. So here's a more of a close up. You can see that this is listed through the Missing Persons Clearinghouse, Texas Department of Public Safety. There is a phone number at the bottom that you can use to call if you see them. And this is involuntary abduction. They have not yet posted anything for an Amber Alert. They might not have the right criteria. I don't really know. This just got added today. So there is a clear, you can actually see it's coming directly. See, that's one thing too. There was never an Amber Alert. An Amber Alert. So what does that tell you? Is she, is she actually like, it says missing person. Why isn't there an Amber Alert? I think it's because they know, obviously she's with her father, so she's being taken care of and nothing is happening there. Um, I don't know. From their website. And that is her photo. She looks quite a bit, she looks quite a bit different than that. They could be out of state. They could be in Arizona. The last known whereabouts that I was told was that they were seen in potentially being in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, he had discussed going to a country that does not have extradition. So he was looking at like Mexico or Argentina, I believe. He also speaks Spanish in addition to English. So this is considered a abduction and they are asking everyone to contact the department of the missing persons number, which is here at the bottom in Austin, Texas. It's 512-424-5074. It doesn't say anything about her. And then Michael had filed. Doesn't say anything about her what? About She's so hard to follow. Nothing. A lot of these, a lot of these other bloggers were. <laughs> we're trying to make a big deal about this thing that he had published. Amanda something or else. Here's the details. But he filed this motion in court. It's basically garbage. He already lost custody. And he's trying to literally get the judge removed and recused. So he filed this in the Court of Appeals. It's going to go nowhere. It's not going to change the order. And he won't win this. But it says, the because he already tried to have the judge recused. He is not allowed to do any more false allegations because he has a pattern and a history of doing this. And he's wasted so much of the time of the court. He's not allowed to do any more false allegations? Really? So it says that on July 7th, the Honorable Michael Snipes assigned to this ordered that a non-party, non-parent have sole managing conservatorship and that on... I'll read it. <laughs> on May 20th, 2021, respondent denied Michael Long the opportunity to testify in a case in which he was pro, pro se lit, uh, litigant. On June 16th, 2021, the Honorable Billy Ray Stubblefield denied a motion to disqualify the rescue of Michael Snipe without due process of hearing. Relator files this motion pursuant to Rule 5210 of the Texas Rule of Civil Procedure. It seems reasonably likely that a hearing for the enforcement of temporary orders may be held in the trial court before realtors, relators' original proceeding in this court is disposed of. Okay. Relator files this motion pursuant to for the enforcement of a temporary orders. Latour's original proceeding changes nothing, and it doesn't stop the fact that he has stopped the fact that he has. <laughs> Listen to her. her. Changes nothing, and it doesn't stop. So this means nothing. It changes nothing, and it doesn't really? stop the fact that he has abducted her. Um, Michael filed that yesterday. It was the first time anyone had heard of him, and again, it still means nothing. Listen to this. She's her. so pissed off. She's like, "No, it means nothing. No, it means nothing." Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll make sure I go check up on this story because she's full of shit. He does not have custody of her. He is, Sophie was supposed to go with a family member. Uh, from my understanding, she'll be transitioning if she's safely returned. We hope she will be returned. But the goal is that when she is returned, she will go live with a family member. She'll have to go through a lot of therapy and a reunification process for her to feel safe at her mother's house because she was... Um, Come on. She's been brainwashed to like not wow. believe, to believe lies about her mother by her dad. So it, that was never said. This is her bullshit. We first got this yesterday. I don't know when it was filed, but 
It's the first time we've heard from Michael at all. His dad has been active on social media, acting like there's no big deal, that Sophie wanted to go with Michael, but Sophie's a minor. She did want to go with Michael. It's her father. Like, why is she so mad? How is this any of her business? Child and Sophie cannot consent, nor does Sophie understand the severity of the situation that's happening right now because she's 10 years old. So it's an involuntary abduction. Michael Long is on the run. He has the means and the money and an organization. They believe a father's right organization helping um, him during this process. But he's lost custody and he needs to return Sophie. And I'm assuming now that he's listed as an abductor, he'll be arrested when return happens. So that's what I have for now. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, make sure that you check all of my uh, posts on there. He took her because he lost custody and he's a terrible father and wow. he's not a good person and he's a horrible human being. That's why he took her. Yeah. That's disgusting right there. She doesn't even know that. She picks the side, sticks to the side, anything that will get her more publicity. He doesn't care about his daughter. He cares about yes, he does. Against, against his ex-wife and he's not afraid to use his daughter as a weapon to hurt his ex-wife. She is abused. She's being abused by her dad. Bullshit. That was never proven either. Wow. thousand percent. And she was not essayed. It was already proven in court. All right, you guys, none of that drama is necessary because right now the court says he's an abductor. She's a missing person. And if you have questions or drama related to anything, I don't give a shit about that. Wow. What matters is Sophie is not here. And if you continue to enable and continue to support Michael, it only fosters his delusions and his paranoia. And it puts Sophie at risk. If you truly care about this girl and you want to say, you need to find her. She's missing. Bye, guys. Why is she so mad? Holy frig. And she won't answer any questions. If you have any questions or comments, you have to watch her other videos, guys. Holy shit. She is such an asshole. All right, let's watch this one. <clears throat> Same day as well. So she's got more liquor in her system. Beware, guys. <laughs> Listen to this. If you are receiving death threats, get offline. Put the phone down. It's so easy. <laughs> Here we go. More bitch fest. Hey you guys, so the last few days I have been working pretty hard to identify some of the players and all of the threats we've been receiving. Oh my and god. And I have been trying to listen to just about any troll, anyone that's been cruel to me, to dissect and get any information from them about, you know, what's happening. She's bitchy, guys. <laughs> Somebody must have did or said something to her. <laughs> in this world and who's doing what and who's seeing what. And what I've learned is that a lot of people in DMs are trying to tell me how they were not trustworthy before, but I should trust them now. And they're all declaring their innocence when I know they're literally all been stuck in like the mud with these really bad people. So here's the thing. I was taking information from people and listening, but I'm not um, really taking more information at this point. I've got a pretty clear understanding now of who's doing what and what's been involved with who. And at this time, I think I have a- Yeah, so do I. I actually have a really good understanding. And my understanding is, is that it was you? Mm hmm Yeah. Pretty clear understanding of who is involved. I also have a pretty clear understanding of how wide this is, how widely this is involved. And they, honestly, the weird thing is, are enjoying this. I think you're they enjoying think it. This is fun. And it's really creepy. And so if you are part of a community that find it fun to fuck with people's lives and, <laughs> you know, send them threats and this and that, like, that's not. Okay. So apparently we're not allowed to think it's fun, but when she does it, it's okay though. Right? Fun. Okay, Your joke. That's actually says that you probably need help. Another thing I've learned as I've gotten to know some of these people is that a lot of them are very unhappy. <laughs> I've noticed a lot of them have a lot of huge problems and they're also very like angry at life, whether they're sick or angry at life, dire circumstance, they are unhappy people 
and they're trying to find a way to fuck with people and get attention. And this is why she can't look in the camera because she's both so, these lying. I'm not going to spend my time trying to make my haters be my friends because that's just not how I roll. I'm not going to try to make my haters be my friends. And if anyone's in my DMs right now acting like because we're talking that I don't think that you're part of it, <laughs> you're sorely mistaken. Like, really? Like, every single person that suddenly wants to be in my DMs is, is suspicious as F. Even if you give me information, the fact that you want to be my best friend and help me tells me that you feel super fucking guilty about what you are doing and you want me to trust me. Really? What about Sassy? All things Sassy went to you as a decent human being and she didn't want to be your best fucking friend, asshole. What she wanted to do is tell you that you guys were in danger and you blocked her. So she went to your husband and he was very, very grateful for that. And then what'd you do to her? You doxed her. You doxed her husband. You talked shit on her and you treated her like a piece of shit. When in actuality, you're the piece of shit, KJ, for what you do to people. You're sadistic as fuck. You, right? You want me to trust you so that I won't think that you did it. But I'm on to, like, five of you. And so... You right. Think that How many people has she blamed for this fucking lawsuit, right? How many people has she blamed? Not one of these people, not one, has been arrested or charged or anything. The only one that has been is not. I do have something to say about that one, though. Um, I've been looking and looking and looking. I wanted to see the file, if there's so such thing as a file on that, to see when she was arrested, exactly what she was being charged with. There isn't anything, okay? Now, you're supposed to believe lawyers, correct? I don't know how to say this, but it's like, I have a feeling this is like a, like a washover, like a, oh, how do you say it? Like, um, I don't know, like a facade, like a red herring, if that makes sense. Like something's up and I have a feeling it has to do with KJ and all the shit that she's actually done. And I just don't really think that Nat was arrested. I'm wondering if it's a ploy to get KJ to loosen up, to speak up, think she's invincible and get her to fuck up so then they can really get her. Because I'm telling you, she was involved with all of the stalking and harassing. She's the one that brought Nat in. She is the one. It all comes back to KJ. I don't care what anybody says, this is absolutely, it, it, it's what I believe. I've went through documents. I've looked at things. I've had people send me things, actual court documents, and I've been reading them, not all of them, but I, there's a lot. So I've been going through them and it's, it's fascinating to see about how fucked up and how crooked her lawyer really was on the Toddy case to the point where he should be in prison. Mm -hmm. He should lose his status as a lawyer. Yeah, he's just as crooked as she is. Mm -hmm. I'm not. You're silly. So they don't deserve any excuses, Joe. These people are horrible human beings. They are sad human beings and they're sick human beings and they've been brainwashed and there's these all these little troll accounts that are acting like they know everything or they're the ones that can tell you what's going on just remember this no one on youtube knows more about what's happening to me than me <laughs> especially when you do it to yourself a story of what's happening to me is giving you a story right everyone that thinks they know more about what's happened to me in the last two years than me is not accurate and people that walked into my life six months ago that claim that, you know, I need to do things a certain type of way or I need to stop reacting or I just stopped tweeting, I look less crazy or whatever you guys have to say. You know, I have the right to say what I want to say. I have the right to do what I want to do. And if I want to share information to get the trolls to come out, that's what I'm going to do. As fun as this is. Yeah, but you also deserve the repercussions that comes with that. So, yeah, sure. You have a right. Yep, you absolutely do. Just be prepared for the backlash. Been for the last few days in that it's gotten me a ton of information. I'm probably going to go back to just not dealing with this. <laughs> but, you know, I want to thank you guys for letting me know how sorry and pathetic your lives are that you find joy in fucking with people's lives. I hope you really find a counselor to speak with because healthy human people beings do not do this to people. I hope you go to the doctor and maybe seek therapy. Um, I don't think manipulating people is cool and i've seen enough of you try to manipulate me in the last two weeks and people think i'm naive that they're doing it and it's so dumb like i know what they're doing 
Yeah. The people that constantly tell me I'm innocent, I have nothing to hide, are usually the ones that have the most to hide. The ones that are also generally trying to be my best friends are typically the ones that are sourcing info to give to other people. I do not believe for a second that anybody was trying to be her best friend. I do think that, especially Sassy, was trying to help her. She did the she did the right thing. She did the right thing, the noble thing, compared like considering she went up against this idiot, and she got shit on for it. Yeah, big time. So they're farming details from me, pretending like they've gotten rid of everything, and then they're farming that out to their friends. Farming? Because don't for a minute think I haven't noticed that things I was only saying in DMs were making it into the threatening emails, which made it really easy for me to identify which ones of you were involved in these threats. You and still don't fucking know because you don't shut your mouth, you don't listen, and you don't know. You just don't. You like to blame, and you like to lie, and you like to accuse every fucking person. Wow at least four of you that I've identified right now more lies communications with me in DMs that tell me that you're a part of these threats at least four I've always known that it's more than one person because the writing changes from really one, from one to the next why aren't they I've in jail that. why and aren't they charged people that are claiming like your life is getting torn apart you know what you're the ones that inserted yourself into the situation uh, decided to make groups to fuck with people and getting called out is not your life falling apart it's called accountability so what i would suggest is if you are someone that is chronically ill or have you know dealing with mental illness or whatever is happening in your life that's making you feel sad i hope you find help that's all i'm gonna say i hope you find help because i would never do to you what you're doing to me bullshit bullshit no matter how much you guys do this shit to me i don't care who you are I don't care what your backgrounds are. I'm not going to contact your employers. I'm not going to repull your police reports because that's not my business. <clears throat> Is she joking? Is she joking? Wow. She does contact employers. She does contact a police department. She does pull reports. And she does try and get sponsors and shit removed. Are you kidding me? She just lied to all of our faces right there. Wow. And there's specific troll accounts that keep jumping to creator to creator saying the FBI is not involved because nobody's getting interviewed. And to that person, I want to tell them you're lying. You're and lying. Anyone continues to say that the FBI is not involved is someone that's trying to, um, they're trying to confuse you. So there's trolls out there that like to spread misinformation. And so they think that if they look like they're the beacon of truth and they say, well, nobody believes you that the FBI is involved. Bullshit. They don't know. They don't know who the agents are and the FBI doesn't release information about open investigations to anyone, period. <laughs> you could call the FBI and ask about this and they wouldn't tell you shit. They would never tell you shit about this. Okay. They're not going to tell you who's involved. They're not going to tell you who's been investigated. No, of course not. We don't need to call because you open your mouth and tell us everything anyways. Right. Remember Steven. <clears throat> and just because people haven't been um, questioned or interviewed yet, that's not how the FBI works. Right now, we have to figure out IP addresses. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you worked with the FBI or for the FBI. Hmm. Good to know. Figure out if we can directly tie the threats to specific people before interviews are done. And that's what we're working on right now. They're not going to interview anyone but the victims right now. Period. And I have lawyers working on this who have actively had interviews with the FBI. Mm -hmm. She's lying her ass off. She's pinching her skin and now pretending to read comments. I can confirm that Katie had a chance to use my essay. She didn't, though, even though I was nasty to her. I don't have any interest in using anything or weaponizing anything against anyone because I'm not like these people. Yeah, you are. I say that you are these people, people. Are the bottom of the barrel. They're like the most horrible humans on YouTube, and they are the scum of the earth, and they get off on hurting people. Just like most you get of off these on trolls that are doing this. Child essays. They are typically sadists, they like to abuse people. And they like to get, they get like a sense of power they have with their tiny platforms of people listening <laughs> to them. So the weird thing I've noticed getting entrenched in this world is that they love, like they like live off the number of likes they have on Twitter. They're very active on Twitter, which is why I've been on Twitter a lot the last few days. And they love their Twitter likes. And they're really honestly- I think she's jealous because she doesn't get Twitter likes and nobody likes her on Twitter. <laughs> Like, this is scary as hell. Very. You go, Eileen. I'm just speaking to an echo chamber.
like that's all they're doing is speaking to an echo chamber. That's it. Exactly like you're doing, right? An echo chamber. And they don't care about your opinion. You know that the funniest part of all of this is there are literally troll accounts that don't care about what I actually know. The fuck they know was more that? Than, they know more about the people abusing me than I do. Yeah, okay. When now I'm you're being abused. Wow. That's a stretch. The person that's been the one abused. It's so funny. And they don't care that what I know. Because what I know doesn't matter to them and it doesn't matter to their narrative, right? And it doesn't matter to their bottom line on their channels. And while it's she's sadistic watching this crumble because these people are garbage human beings. They've inflicted so much harm on innocent people. They are still taking advantage of what bothers me the most about these group of people. Yeah, and a lot of them are the same people. So, you know, it's really funny. I was looking at some of their follow lists and I could figure out who their stock accounts were. <clears> because they always, they're such narcissists that they always follow themselves. And then you start to see them talking to themselves on Twitter. And you're like, oh my God, this person's having a conversation and there's four of them talking to each other. She's an idiot person. because she has conversations with herself on Twitter as well. And she's got busted plenty of times. <clears throat> I'm not lying. I saw <laughs> There you go. I just proved my point. I'm not lying. Meaning she is. That happening on Twitter. There's one person I'm convinced is like four separate accounts. No, John and Abby are not pregnant. I don't know why you've seen them. They're going to family camp. Wow, John what a Abby bitch. Pregnant. Nobody's pregnant. No, don't talk about anything, guys. I have to talk about me. Me, me, me. I, I, I. Anyways, John and Abby had 12 weeks out, meaning that the family camp was in 12 weeks. They're not pregnant. <laughs> so I've learned about Discord servers that are really disturbing. I've learned about multiple Discord servers. I've learned about Reddit this week. I've learned about... Um, all these groups that are going on that I already knew about. I just didn't know and didn't care to know all the details. And I already knew the players. And people keep saying, like, we don't know who's masterminded this. Yes, we do. No, you don't, because nobody's been held responsible. And I'm telling you, it's going to be her. And I can't wait. Like, look at this thing. Look at this. Is that not scary or what? This is somebody who needs to be locked up, in my honest opinion. She's dangerous. She's sadistic. She's disgusting. After everything that she's done to harm people, if I honestly, if she's not charged with anything um, and she gets away with all these lawsuits again, wow, I'm just going to lose my faith in humanity. But I have a very strong feeling that 7M is going to be the kicker and she's fucked. We 100% know who the mastermind no, we get is don't. behind all of this. We 100% know who their minions are doing what they're doing. How many we times has she said this? We're just working to tie it all up together. And anyone that doesn't understand that is an idiot. <laughs> it's, Unirock is not right about a lot of things, and I'm oh not a friend anymore. I've listened to a few of his Until next week. Um, videos and his live streams, and I'll say this. <clears throat> Unirock exaggerates a lot of shit. So do you. You're perfect You're for each other. where we support you. I don't even know. I didn't even know that existed. Um, but anyways, Uterock is, he focuses on things that are like inconsequential and like irrelevant to this. And he focuses a lot of time on why it's happening and who he thinks are the major players. And he's to a degree, right? But he also doesn't know who all of the players are. He knows most of them. You don't know anything either. Like, give it up. Well, I'm glad you're in a Discord that uh, supports me because the only one I've ever seen doesn't support me, and I've never heard of a positive Discord. <clears throat> so, um... I'm in the one that doesn't support her. <laughs> what Unirock is not getting right is who he's focusing on. Like, he spends a lot of time talking about Nat, and yes, Nat's involved. We've already done that. Like, here's the thing, you guys. We already know that Nat's involved. We already know that Katie McDermott's involved. We already know that Dustin Tinley is involved. Um, like, we already know all of that. All of that. We know that Jen might be, is likely involved. I just figured out somebody else that might be involved. <laughs> You're so full because um, then the more. So, and I also know that a lot of these people play both sides. 
So they'll say, well, this person's publicly like saying that they don't know that they don't support Nat, but you don't know that there's six other accounts that are playing both sides. So at the end of the day, we know who four of the people are. No, you don't. She still doesn't. At a minimum. Mm -hmm. And I've got some ideas about who the others are, but I know who the mastermind is. So anyone <laughs> oh that's claiming that they know who the mastermind is or that we don't know who it is, we already know. No, you don't. I'm going to go eat. I think I'm going to do a live about the Duggars tonight. Bye, guys. Oh, my God. She is just pissing me off so much lately. Wah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm lost. What is going on? <laughs> All right. I hope you guys have a great night. I'm going to go pop in a movie, I think, and finish the rest of my pizza. Um, if you have any comments or questions or anything, I'll see you in the comment section. Uh, have a great night, guys.